Hey guys, what's up? Another Xcode 4 tutorial. And uh, we actually got a comment in, and somebody was like, How do I embed a table view within a tab bar application? And that's what I want to go through. You see on the screen, we've got a simple tab bar set up with the template. And then basically, I've just embedded a table view inside of it. And so, this is something that you can easily do. You can organize different data, all this different stuff within a tab bar application. And so, uh, that's what we're going to be showing you today. So we're going to go ahead and launch a new project and once you get to the new project choose the template for the tab bar application because that will give us the framework for what we're doing and you can enable this you can name it whatever you'd like but I'm just going to name it tab bar table and uh, it's going to be specific to the iPhone and we're going to create it wherever you'd like so you can save the document or the project wherever you'd like and the first thing that we're going to do is go to the main storyboard and as you can see if you zoom out a little bit we've got a basic tab bar template that's built for us already so we've got a first view and we've got a second view already set up and as the simulator showed we're gonna basically be inserting this table view in our second view controller so we're gonna actually click the second view and we're gonna delete it out of there then what we're gonna do is go over to our utilities bar that's off to the right and as you can see up to the top right you can show or hide this so if uh, if it isn't is this, if it isn't viewable, go up to the top right and click that. And uh, one of the objects that you'll see is a table view controller. And so we're going to click and drag that into our storyboard formation here, and drop it onto the screen. Now, as you can see, it doesn't self hook itself up to the tab bar. And uh, if we zoom in, you'll see we only st we only have one tab bar that you can click at the moment. So that's what we've got to hook up now is we've got to hook up our table view that we just dropped onto the screen. So if we either click um, the tab bar over here, hold control, click and drag over to the table view and drop, you'll see we've get, uh, we're prompted with a few options where we can click the relationship, so on and so forth. Or the other thing that we can do is if you zoom in here, you'll see we also have a tab bar controller that we can click, uh, we can hold control, click and drag over again and it'll prompt us with the same options. So a few different ways that you can do it. Um, but once you get prompted, you're gonna wanna click the relationship view controller because the re relationship view controller segue is the same that uh, the first view controller set up as. So that's gonna give us uh, the same look and feel as the first. Now one thing that we're gonna do, just uh, if you're unfamiliar with the tab bar view controller, is we're just going to click this item down here, we're going to give it a new name, and we're just going to call this table view, and uh, we're also going to give it an, uh, the image as second.png, which should come in your template files there, so you should be good to go. Now that's kind of the basics, um, click run on that, now once that loads, just jump over to the table view, make sure it looks like a basic table, and uh, you should be good as far as uh, if you don't have any errors, you're good to go. All right, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Be good.